the study for the truth continues. Today I may have it, but it may come across as a bitter and unpalatable truth. Before the Anunnaki came to Earth, along with the followers, the Igigi, the Anunnaki sought worship for themselves, while Mamu, who was secretly the leader over them, desired worship the most. Mamu fell to Earth under the guise Enki, and began creating man from the dust, the red clay, by the order of the goddess Namu, which is the title for sea, Nun, while the waters of Mamu were still intermingled with that of Abzu and Tiamat. At this time, Tiamat and Abzu were different names for the same god. In ancient Kemet, they were Nu and Mahet were at, while Mamu was Heka. The word Heka means magic. The Old Kingdom Pyramid texts depict Heka as a supernatural energy that gods possess. The cannibal pharaoh must devour other gods to gain magical power. Eventually, Heka was elevated to a deity in his own right, and a cult devoted to him developed. A figure who is very similar to the magical lion-faced god Shezmu, or Shizmu, whom I worked on recently. The Flood is what gave Mamu victory over the force of the invented father, Abzu, actually meaning victory over the great mother, Tiawath, later known as Tiamat. After this Flood, through what is known as the Namshub effect, Mamu assumed other names, but he did not make himself known as a god to be worshipped. Sneaky Sneaky. A reason I place Mamu as the 13th god, the Abzu is the 12th zodiac. Mamu is both behind and in front of Abzu. The element Zu also means knowledge wisdom, as well as messenger, angel, king, and voice, hence the word. The house of knowledge is the abyss of dark magic, and the hidden one here is Mamu and Zu. Tiamat Abzu was divided, then used to create the male Abzu, cannibalizing Apsu. The male Abzu may be simply a foot in the door, so to speak. The hymns and prayers were collected together, acquiring a sacred character, the Adon AI, an artificial Adon Abzu making way for Mamu, the child. Abzu, the figure who produced Mamu, alias An Zu, a god Professor Sayus and Lewis Spence quite accurately described as the god of sarcasm meaning via literature and thought, utilizing the word Mamu. From here, Mamu altered his ego of Enlil to El-Il, and his ego of Enki 
to Ea, while his ego of An became Anu. The Trinity and the Fathers of the Anunnaki. One becomes three, and the three become one. A one-three pattern. The letter U added to An is for water. I remind you, the flood is what gave Mamu his success over Abzu. Mamu and Zu can be aligned with all three gods. Mamu did not make himself known as a god to be worshipped. But can you have the pantheon without Mamu? No. They are variants of the same god. Where then Enki is supposed to have sealed Mamu away? Where then Mamu re-revealed himself? as Marduk. Do tell me again that Enki is Marduk's father. Remember Anu, Enlil, and Enki are all epithets for Mamu and Zu. Mamu, the figure who started an open war against the gods. But how many realize that this new mythological narrative is the open war against the gods, or even realize that the story of Marduk is a carbon copy of Mamu, and Marduk delivers the very same intention, and the angel of the Lord takes over from Nabu, son of Marduk, who may be Mamu. It is Mamu. Now I see Mamu as Marduk, who later absorbed the essences of all gods. These egos were created in his own mind, as well as the egos created by the Agigi, who rebelled against him meaning he rebelled against himself, meaning he is his own adversary, playing both sides, ensuring victory. The egos were used, as well as the titles and essence of the true god, the most meaningful essence being the light that arose from uncreated darkness. This god then manifested itself in Egypt as Ra, while being manifest in Arabia as Azaruladu, whose essence was assimilated into Marduk. A clear point needs to be made here. This would be the point in time where Marduk was made the son of Enki, Ea. I remind you, all three are one. So whatever way we look at this, Enki is not the father of Marduk, but Enki is also known as Little Enlil. Mamu is the figure behind the Trinity or, I should say, the beneficiary of the reformed titles. There is also a prequel to all of this, as the role of Enlil was taken over before his name change. Enlil was originally Mul Lil, and when Zu took his role, he also became a female Mul Mi Sara, his own female epithet indicating the true author of the Book of Hades, which is simply attributed to the female role. Either way, the House of Knowledge from the Abyss comes from the same figure. As above, so below. Same forwards as back. 
This darkness is directly attributed to the Mother Goddess in order to demonize her while also protecting the book. This would be the main reason I suggest Abzu, the House of Knowledge, is the installation of black magic, Mamu, magic, abyss, black magic, abyss magic. To continue, Marduk was neither Ra or Azaruludu. This again was achieved by the Namshub effect, advancing Marduk to a son of Enki enabled him to be seen as a god in the likeness of Ashar, whom, like Marduk and the Egyptian god Tuhut, was the personification of Ra, worshipped in ancient Kemet. While in summer, Marduk was the son of Ea, who in antediluvian summer was Mamu. But after the Flood absorbed this character by taking on the name Marduk, who is later made known as Marduk's Ego of Mamu, who was later given the name Azaruludu by his father, Anu, who I must remind you was also Iyar and Enlil. Within the 50 names of Marduk, we find Enlil, Mullil, aka Zu. It is the Enuma Elish that states Iyar was the father of Marduk, where we see that Anu proclaimed the name Azaruludu for Marduk. But the text does not say that Azaruludu was Marduk's true name. Instead, the text openly says, As our ruler do, he is the true light of the gods. The mighty leader, who as the plural protecting deities of gods and land, in fierce single combat, saved our retreats in distress. As our ruler do. Secondly, they have named Nam Telaku, the god who maintains life, who restored the lost gods through his own creation, meaning the Council of Seven, the creation of the Enuma Elish, the lord who revives the dead gods by his pure incantation, meaning the Enuma Elish itself, he who destroys the wayward foes and here, the Anunnaki, who are the dead gods, say, Let us praise his prowess, as our ruler do, whose name thirdly was called Namru, the shining god who illuminates our ways. Three, each of his names. Namtalanku and Namru are both as our ruler do, the name changed through the Namshub effect. The name Namshub was changed to Namru, while the third name of Azaruludu was Namshub. Changing the name to Namru allowed the name Namshub to be used for a different purpose, by the Deceiver. The Deceivers would be the Ishipu priests, leading to the implication that Azaruladu could be Marduk. This would be the definition of the Namshub effect, the crafty art of changing truth to make a lie insinuated as truth, when truthfully, it is a lie. For through this Namshub effect, the devil steps forwards and impersonates the true god. Anu, Enlil, and Enki are merely aspects of this flood. In fact, I could render the phrase, the sky tempest on earth, 
and divine storm bird. Well, it is the meaning of Anzu. The next documentary will be on the element Zoo, where I will further explain that Marduk is the son of Enlil, a role which was previously taken by Mamu and Zoo.